Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to show you how you can disable the anti-malware service executable, the real-time protection of Windows Defender. So if you're using Windows Defender on your system and not a third-party antivirus solution, the Defender will automatically be active and we will show you in this video how you can deactivate it in the professional version. So this version um, of the video is not for the home version. Okay. The first question is, should I really disable the anti-malware service, the real-time protection? And the general answer is no, you should not. It's an additional layer of safety. It automatically checks in the background if you download something from the internet. The antivirus protection will check the file and will alarm you if it's a malicious file in most cases. However, if the service here consumes too much CPU or too much memory, it might be a good idea to deactivate the service for some time or if you have Windows installed on a machine with, well, not so much CPU power, you can get extra speed, but beware of the risks. Okay, how to disable the anti-malware service executable. As you can see here, it works in the background. And for example, if I surf on the internet here, for example, on our web page, you can see that the uh, process here becomes active and uses CPU. Okay, we first go to the settings and in the settings we go to privacy and security and here you can find Windows security. Click on that and we have to click here on open Windows security. The security settings are in a different window and here we go. Click on virus and threat protection and then we can here manage the settings. And if you want to disable the real-time protection for a short amount of time, just for testing, you can do that here. You can disable the real-time protection, but the setting will automatically reactivate after some time. So if you want to only deactivate it for a short time, that's the solution here. For permanent deactivation of the service, we have to disable the tamper protection here. If we don't disable the tamper protection, the next setting we will do will not become effective. Okay, disable the tamper protection and then we have to open the group policy editor. Press Windows key and R, then the run dialog here shows up and enter gpedit.msc. Hit enter and this will open the group policy editor. And this group policy editor is only available in the pro version and that's why this tutorial here does not work in the home edition of Windows. Okay, click on administrative templates, then on all settings and then we have to look for the setting. The setting is turn off, let's sort by name here, turn off real-time protection. So we have to look. Okay, here we go. Here's our turn of real-time protection. Open it by double clicking and then set the setting to enabled. And click apply and okay. And now the anti-malware service executable will be deactivated after restarting the computer. I'll do that now. Okay, we have restarted the computer and now let's have a look to the settings, privacy and security, Windows security, open Windows security and then virus and threat protection. And go to manage settings. And as you can see now, the real time protection is disabled and the setting is managed by your administrator. This message here appears because we did the change in the group policy editor. So real-time protection is deactivated now. If we have a look to the task manager, the process will still be here and it should not consume any CPU when it's deactivated. And as you can see, if I open the browser, it stays at 0%. And if I go to our website, it stays at 0% and does not consume any CPU. And that's how you can deactivate the anti-malware service executable in Windows 11. To reactivate the setting, just enable the temper protection and also go to the group policy editor and set it to default the setting we configured. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye.